start at five as long as they can read. But we got kids 10, 12 years old, man, that can read an income statement. They can break down a company's balance sheet. They can tell you whether the company is a great investment or not. Mm. And when I was coming up, I'm not going to lie to you, at that age, I wasn't even thinking about that, right? Right, right. You know what I'm saying so it's that is our most, um, how can I put this? That's that's the work that, you know, um, gets me out of bed in the morning. It's yeah. seeing the difference that you can actually make in the community. Yeah. So um, I know you said short, but <laughs> trying to just give no, it no, no. as we do. Um, mm-hmm. our, our website is by the hood.com, you know, on socials, we're at by the hood. And our thing is really community based. That's kind of our thing. There's a lot of people online that teach finance, teach options, teach all these things. And we do all that too. But, you know, we are in the community. Our thing isn't to create wealth, to have things or be on IG with cars and private jet not that we couldn't do that we wanted to right but the thing is that's not our goal our goal is to take our resources and literally bring it to the people that's always been our goal that's our mission we stay focused on that um and that's what we're about we're about building up our our young soldiers man yeah yeah so let's let's talk about because you do a lot of work with 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 kids and i think i want to i want to focus on uh that Mm -hmm. for this particular episode i think we could talk about uh, an abundance of things, but I want to talk about the babies and I want to talk about how parents can uh, kind of plan for their kids' education, right? One of the things that I did recently, I love I love telling people like, you know, steps and things that, I, that I've done in, in, my, in my actual life, right? Pertaining to my kids. One of the things that I did, I just got um, a life insurance policy for my youngest, right? Mm-hmm. That's, a term, that's a term policy for uh, a certain amount of money. And the goal is, you know, once that term is up, to cash that joint out, right? Cash mm-hmm. that joint out and give it to him or, or, or invest it with him uh, so he can have like a head start, right? It's a, it's a it's an insurance policy that I'm gonna pay in, pay into for the next, you know, however many years, um, there's a cash value attached to it. Um, but things like that weren't taught to us growing up, right? Mm-hmm. For us, I don't know for you, Jim, for me, it was, you know, my mom, uh, getting savings bonds every month and keeping the saving bonds under the bed, right? Yeah, man. And, yeah, and, man. And, 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 and hoping that they gain value over the years and, you know, kind of using that as a vehicle uh, to, to plan for things. But then what happens is that what? Uh, sometimes life happens, right? And then those savings bonds got to get used up for, for something because there's some bills that need to get paid or there's, some, you know what I mean? And that's just how we were, kind of brought into the game. But my my goal for my kids is to change that narrative. So why do you think that it's important for for parents to kind of look at uh, planning for their kids future differently than the way that most of us were raised? Man, it's a couple of great questions in there. Um, And no, I wasn't talked to about money uh, when I was a youth. uh, Another thing is, so you must have a return of premium rider or something on you. You have a rider on your term policy, right? Right. Just making sure because um. Anyway, um, <laughs> but with that being said, though, um, I, I didn't even know like what my mom's bills were, right? Until one day she got tired of me like consistently asking for sneakers. And it was like, look, this is what I make. Here's what the bills are. Like, she, right. you know, I, it, took, it took for me like pestering her. Um, and, and the same with my father didn't really talk to me about money per se. 